Hello and welcome to another Art House Movie Review. This time I'm reviewing the film The Eight Mountains, directed by Felix van Groningen and Charlotte van der Meersch. So this film is epic. It's two and a half hours long. It never felt too long. I, I really enjoyed it. It kept me involved all the way through. It really takes you on a journey through these people's lifetime. That said, although I was engaged with the film, there was no emotional depth, so the level of engagement was all, was always kind of at a superficial entertainment level. Now, this is primarily a film about the relationship between two men who are not really able to express their feelings. So the emotions are kind of beneath the surface, but these men have a very strong bond, which we feel. And at some level, this did actually work quite well because we felt the bond between them without it ever really being expressed. One thing I really liked about this film was that it's clear that a lot happens and not everything is spelt out. We're not shown every small detail. Sometimes we're just given the small hint of something which actually tells us quite a lot. And I think this is what gives it an epic quality because we feel like we're experiencing a lot in a small amount of time. And I think this is actually, from a filmmaking perspective, perhaps from an editing perspective, is really successful in doing that. There's a real strong sense of the feeling of passing of time as these two men grow up from children to being older. Now, although the film successfully communicated the bond between these men, as a viewer of the film, I never felt emotionally involved in it. It never felt emotional. I guess it's possible that this is intentional, like the two men, that we were just supposed to feel the feelings without experiencing them. I think I think probably the filmmakers decided not to make it emotional. It could easily have been made very moving, but I didn't feel that moved by it. This film has one of the main characters as a narrator, and I do wonder whether that was actually necessary, given the overall understated nature of this film. I think it probably didn't need that, but it didn't bother me too much. As I say, I did enjoy this film, so I don't want to be too insulting to it, but it did feel like the lack of emotional depth as a viewing experience made it feel a bit like a TV drama. Entertaining, engages you, but doesn't really emotionally involve you. It's shot in an amazing location, so the scenery is just fabulous. And it's a really interesting portrayal of mountain and life and living off grid. So at the screening I went to we saw the ads and the trailers and then the screen contracted because this film is in Academy Ratio. Now I'm not sure why it is. Obviously recently I reviewed Godland and this is in Academy Ratio as well and somehow I felt it worked in in that. But in the Eight Mountains there were several times during the film that I really noticed it not in a good way. And I'm not 100% convinced why this would be shot in that narrower ratio. The landscapes are incredible and it would have looked amazing on a wider screen. I think Godland and the fact that it worked for me in Godland is probably an exception. Godland really could have easily been shown in a wider format too. But it did bother me a bit in this film. In conclusion, I found this a very entertaining two and a half hours. But I would class it more as light entertainment rather than great art house movie making. Thanks for watching. See you next time.